Hi and welcome to the channel. Today, unbox natin tong Royal Clutch RK61 mechanical keyboard. As an introduction, this is a budget-friendly mechanical keyboard by Royal Clutch. And there are two things that you might need to consider or know. Pero first, uh, let's talk about the packaging. So yung packaging niya mukhang basic, no? Walang label na RK61 siya. Tapos uh, mapapansin nyo medyo sira na rin. This is due to the delivery, no? Sa so, taas ng box, nandun yung model number which is the RK61 uh, RGB. So yung first thing that you need to know is that may isa pang version itong RK61 which has single lighting. So pwedeng kulay blue or orange. Pero yun, isa lang ilaw niya, hindi siya RGB. So another difference is that the switches are not hot swappable sa single lighting. So dito sa RGB, hot swappable siya. And I think it's worth the price difference. No? Sa likod ng box, may information ni Royal Clutch. Pero um, naiwan nila yung placeholder. No? So name one or more of the chemicals. No? So I, I guess, nandito dapat ko ano yung chemicals na dangerous. No? Tapos, which is or are pa. No? So ayan. Opening the box. So here, makikita na agad natin yung user manual, saka yung keyboard itself. So let's remove this for now. Then dito sa taas, yung accessory area. So dito yung USB-C to A na cable. Then a keycap cooler. Tanggalin natin. So I guess itong nasa other end, itong end na to is the keycap cooler. Then I guess ito ay switch cooler. Then spare switches. Which is nice, no? Uh, merong apat na spare switch. So, ito yung manual. Merong English. Then, merong Japanese. So, uh, I think German. Itong isa. I'm not so sure, no? So, yun. Tatlong language. Ah, yun. German nga isa. So, ito na yung mismong keyboard. And it looks uh, very compact, no? So, nasa top left yung USB-C port for charging or connecting to PC. Then, sa likod, may dalawang switch. So, itong una is on and off, no? So, pag gusto mong naka-Wi-Fi siya, kailangan mong i-on. Then, sa kaliwa, merong B and G switch. So, yung B, Bluetooth. Yung G, uh, God, I really don't know kung ano yung ibig sabihin yung G. Pero, pag nandito siya, ibig sabihin nun na uh, naka-Wi-Fi mode siya. So, speaking of Wi-Fi mode, no, um, nandito din yung dangle sa taas. This should be a normal feature no, na wala kay ako, sadly. Wala siyang stand. Uh, no, so, talagang rubber feet lang talaga yung meron sa kanya. So, it can also pair to three Bluetooth devices. no. Ito yung pair niya. So, press mo yung function key, then... Function 1, 2, or 3, no? Para makapag-switch ka ng devices. So, mukhang walang macro recording dito, which is okay lang naman, no? This is a budget keyboard. As for the weight, uh, mukhang magaan, pero timbangin natin. So, the weight is 581 grams. So, mas magaan pa siya sa Red Dragon. Na, although full-size keyboard naman yun. As for the flex, let's try to give it a twist. So, parang matibay naman, no? Parang matibay. Hindi siya nag-reflex. Very sturdy yung keyboard. So, as for the lighting, uh, let's try to connect sa PC. Okay, so baka sa current feed ko ng video, no? Medyo nag-blat uh, yung ilaw niya. Pero actually, very steady siya in person. So, I hope maganda yung pagkakawa sa video. So, hindi siya ganun kahalata sa video pero pag madilim naman yung environment uh, okay naman yung ilaw niya actually para mapalitan daw yung ilaw uh, FN ito okay so may mga animation siya hindi sinabi sa manual kung ilan yung animation niya okay so this has a red switch no pero pwede ka naman pumili ng blue and let's hear how it sounds Uh, personally, parang mas okay siya kaysa sa Red Dragon. Pero definitely mas okay yung ako kaysa dito. Ano. So, if you want the sound of ako, you can watch my other video on it. So, doon sinound test ko rin yung ako at saka uh, Red Dragon na Horus. Let's try the tool that was provided. So, pick up. Okay, mukha namang madali na bunot. So, let's try the switch puller kung kaya. 
Yun. Okay, so ito na yung switch. Uh, bunod mo siya gamit ito, no? Pero apparently, dapat sa taas mo siya bunutin. So may locking mechanism siya dito. Kaya hindi ko siya mabunot na maayos. So let's try again. Now that I know, nasa taas dapat siya bunutin. Ayun. Ayun. So, sa taas talaga siya dapat bunodin. No? Uh, otherwise, mayroon siya bunodin. So, yung iba, sa gilid ko nabubunot. Eh. So, for example, yung ako, sa gilid ko nabunot. Pero ito, uh, mukhang sa taas. So, not sure if ganun ba talaga yung standard kasi hindi rin naman ako magaling sa keyboards. Okay, so, yung next consideration ma for buying this type of keyboard no? is yung layout. So, mapapansin nyo, yung F1 to F12, Kasama siya nung numerical keys. So, you have to press the function and then 1 para makapag F1 ka or F2. ba? Then, next is, uh, actually, hindi lang yung mga F keys, no? Pati yung arrow keys, no? So, yung iba, meron ka talagang dedicated na arrow key dito. Kailangan mo i-press yung function bago ka makapag um, arrow key. Wala rin dedicated button for home, page up, page down, etc. No? So, nandito sila sa bandang Y to M na area. So, you need to do a combination of keys to do what you want. No? Sa halip na isang pindot lang. Ang point ko dito is that this keyboard is likely best for gamers who will use their PC just for games and simple uh, browsing. No? This is not for typing jobs. Si madalas ka sa MS Word or accountant ka or programmer ka. No? As you'd likely use yung mga keys na F1, F2, page up, page down in those type of jobs. No? Kasi kailangan mas mabilis ka mag-type eh. So that's the second consideration that you need to know. As for the price, RK61 costs around 1.5k pesos para doon sa soldered switch or yung single lighting and 1.9k pesos para dito sa hot swappable switches and RGB. So, if this is your cup of tea and regular user ka din, katulad ko na walang dexterity sa paghihinam, no? I would highly suggest to buy this RGB instead, no? Dahil sa hot swappable siya. So, ang isang point talaga ng mechanical keyboard, no? Is that, madali mo siya ma-maintain. So, umahasay lang ka sa pag-maintain, then, wala din, di ba? Sayang yung investment mo. So, overall, this is very similar to the Horus, but cheaper by 1,000 pesos. The Wi-Fi is stuck sa likod, supports Bluetooth, and may wireless dongle. It has extra switches included. Meron din kasamang switch puller, which is its advantage over the ako PC75B. Given that, it wins across the board no, against the competitors. Pero personally, hindi ko ito bibilhin for myself since I use this F keys. I like to use my home button, page up and page down. I like to use my arrow keys na hindi ko na kailangan pumindot pa ng isa pang key to do what I want, no? Pero I could give this to my 4-year-old who plays uh, games, no? So, Fortnite lang naman yung nilalaro niya. So, WASD, uh, titingin sa mapa, switch ng weapons. Yun naman yung kailangan niya. So, ayun. Overall, I think this is good for games. Uh, good for beginners sa uh, mechanical keyboard and it's cheap no so hindi ganun kalaki yung investment mo dito kumpara sa ibang mechanical keyboard na umabot ng 5,000 so I guess that's it for my unboxing thanks for watching do like or dislike comment on what you think and subscribe for more unboxing and benchmarks bye